hey guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a long time but today we are out here in winwood and we're going to s'moresburg miami and this is a place where they have multiple vendors for food and we're gonna see if it's really what the hype is all about and i'm gonna let you guys know what i think about the place and if you guys should come Okay, so the first place I stopped to get food from was called Mofungo Rolanos and y'all this place was bust. Oh, that was so worth it. It was $22 for this um, El Corral. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it wrong, but it had fried pork, fried cheese, and obviously plantains, bananas, whatever you guys want to call it. And I got me a guava pina drink and everything was bust. It was worth the money all for sure. Then next I decided to try some oxtail patties and I would rate them a 5 out of 10. They were okay. They had a lot of bread in it. It wasn't barely any meat so I wouldn't go there if I was y'all. So it was very hot out there and I decided to get me a drink to calm me down. Well not calm me down but... <laughs> to you know cool me down and i got a brown sugar milk tea from Timtis tea and it was good um i've had better but you know I, you guys should try it if you like milk tea that was a good place So the next place that I tried was Mochi and Ongiri and my friend decided to get the pork ginger Ongiri or whatever the heck that thing was. Um, it was good but I don't think it was worth the $7 that they were asking for. Honestly, it was okay. Now this place will get a 10 out of 10 for me. Even though the price was high for the just two tacos, the burrito tacos was bust. Los Dos Amigas tacos, <laughs> it was good. Um, yeah, it was good. So I would recommend y'all to go there and try it. If you want to spend $70 on tacos, go ahead. It was, I would say it was half and half worth the money. It was good. Okay, now this is just some food that my friends had got, but I would definitely recommend you guys to get the Shell House tea and the Pink Love Donuts. Preferably the pink donut was so good and the Italian vice. So this place I rated at 8 out of 10. Because some of the vendors, their food was good, but not everyone's food was really good. And the more pricey the food, I think it's the better. Um, so for example, I had the lobster rolls from um, famous Broad Street Lobster Deez. No, that Deez, yeah. So I had the lobster rolls. And that was really, really good. It was twenty six dollars. The last roll was super small, like a hot dog one. <laughs> but it was really, really, really good. So I would come back again. And a lot of vendors that they said would be here were not. I made a list because I learned from Amber. I'm not making lists. But it helps you be prepared when you come out. So the food was like an eight out of ten. Um, I would prefer them to have different vendors if I come out. And the drinks were really, really good.
spots that I went to was the world famous lobster roll. That one was pretty okay. Um, I wasn't crazy about it. The butter was a little salty, but it was still good. Um, here is the mango salad, which I love. It was seasoned properly. And then this tea was absolutely refreshing and amazing. I would definitely get these two again. Hi guys, so my reaction to Smorsberg, I'll rate it a 7 out of 10 and I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 because I thought it was going to be way more food options there from what I saw in previous videos. I really thought it was going to be more food, but I will say that the food that I did get that I got from, the vi from my video is good and you guys should go get what I got because, you know, I just, it's just what I do, you know, I only get the best. Um, but I will say one thing that you guys definitely need to be warned about is that it's very hot. It's super hot. So I recommend you guys to have your sunglasses, um, an umbrella, maybe, um, even one of those things that they be having with like the fan and the water spring thing, cause it gets hot. But yes, guys, that's my, um, rating on this place and you guys should check it out and let me know what you think about it. Thank you.